Hi, welcome back everyone to my channel and my name is Monica. Today in the series of Jira Cloud Administrations, I am going to discuss about the custom issue types, what are issue types and how you can create your own custom issue types. If you are working as a Jira admin, then it is very important to understand how you can create your own custom issue types. Before going forward, we will understand from the basic what are the issue types basically. Issue types in Jira differentiate your various kind of work in a specific way and help you to identify identify, categorize and report on your team's work across the Jira site. So now we will go to our Jira instance and see where you can see these issue types and create your own custom issue types. So this is my Jira cloud instance and this is the setting icon. As a Jira admin, you will click here and then click on the issues. When I will click on the issues, then this particular screen will come and it will come automatically under the issue types. And this is the screen where you can see how many issue types you have in your Jira instance. And with the same screen, you can create your own issue types with the help of this add issue button. You can click and you can write the name of your uh, issue type and descriptions and the type of the issue types you want to create the standard issue types or a sub task issue type so it's up to you what kind of issue type you want to create but right now i'm going to cancel it because i want to start from the beginning so this is a issue type sections where we have the issue type hierarchy and what is the role of the issue type hierarchy the issue type Hierarchy will help you to manage the issue types by changing the level's name and structuring the hierarchy to your needs. Here we can see we have the level names, we have the Jira issue types and this is the action column which is uh, not showing anything. Right now I am on a free plan and you can see we have to be into the Jira software premium to expand the hierarchy beyond the epic level. So here just you can uh, see the level story and the subtask if you want to change then you can but you cannot create your own level we have to upgrade to the jira software premium to create the new level here so this is the issue type hierarchy now we'll come to again the same uh, menu which is issue types and here we can create our custom issue type i'll create my custom issue type let's suppose the custom issue type is demo and I'll write the description. This is the custom, sorry, type of mistake, custom issue type. And you can choose right now, I want to uh, create the standard issue type. So I'll click on add. And this is demo custom issue types has been created. Now you can check the hierarchy level. It's a zero and it is related to the default issue type scheme. Remember, when you create your own custom issue types, it will automatically add to the default issue type scheme. So whenever you will create the custom, then it will be a part of the default issue type scheme. Now we'll go and we will edit the issue type because when I personally uh, add the custom issue type, I would like to put a avatar for this. So I'll click on the select image and I will choose the avatar. Let's suppose I want to choose this one. Uh, no, this is a user. Let me, yeah, this one. And if I want to change the description, I can do, I can change the name as well. And I will click on the update and it will again come to the same screen and it is showing the icon with the custom issue type. Now we'll go to the issue type scheme and what is the work of the issue type scheme and what exactly the issue type scheme is so issue type scheme is just kind of a box and we can put the issue types in that particular box or you can see it's a kind of a bucket where we can put our multiple issue types here so this is an issue type scheme and it will help you which issue types will be available to the set of the project and it also allows to specify the order in which the issue types are presented in the project like you can set the order like what will come first and let's suppose if i want uh, if i want like first the story will come then task then subtask and then epic will come then i can set the order with the help of the issue type scheme and with the help of the issue type scheme you can set your default issue types as well what is the default issue types when you, someone will click on the create issue then the default issue type will be there 
even without selecting any issue type so you can do these kind of settings with the help of the issue type scheme now we'll come and we can see we can add the issue type scheme here you can add your new scheme or you can copy uh, from the existing one i always uh, use this copy options because it will reduce your work you can just simply drag and drop and remove whatever you want so this is a easy thing if you can copy already existing issue type scheme and then change according to your requirements but in this video i will create the new one with the help of the add issue scheme and i can choose the scheme name let's suppose the scheme name is demo and i can write down the description this is my demo issue type scheme i can set the default issue type here so it is showing me no issue type but when i will drag some available issue to the current scheme i can do it with the help of the drag and drop like this i am doing like yeah and now you can choose let's suppose the default issue type is a story and i'm going to hit the save button here yeah this is my demo issue type scheme and i think i should add it the name because it is not looking good so i can say it's demo issue type let's suppose demo issue type scheme yes i'm gonna hit save yeah it is looking good now now i am going to associate this particular issue type scheme with the project let's suppose i want to associate this with the development yes now i am going to click the associate button yeah and here you can see demo issue type scheme is associated with the development project now we will go to the development project i'll come and i'll click on the development project and when i will click on the create here i'll click on the issue type and here you can see we have the new custom issue type which is demo i can write down the summary whatever i want let's suppose it's a test and i can choose the other fields as well like i can write descriptions select the labels and many more and i'm going to hit the create button so it will create my issue here in the backlog and the issue type is demo and yeah here you can see the issue type is demo and name of the issue is test so this is the way you can create your own custom issue types and use those custom issue types in your project you have seen how you created uh, your custom issue types and then associate that custom issue types with your project now we'll come to the last menu of the issue type which is subtask so this is the place where you can disable and manage your subtask so subtask you so you can say subtask is a part of a standard issue types and you can manage it with the help of this subtask page you can edit the icon and you can edit the name as well if you want to add the descriptions you can do with the help of this uh, this is the same procedure that i have followed with the custom issue type so you can do it let's go to the task again if you want to disable the task that you can do it with the help of this disable options you can translate it and when you will click on the manage subtask then you will come to the issue type screen again and you can manage your task in the same way as you did for the custom issue type that's all for this video where i'll explain the issue types and how you can create your custom issue types and then associate your created custom issue types with the project now we will meet in the next video where i'll tell you the another way how you can associate your created custom issue types without any help of the jira admin let's suppose you are not a jira admin but still you want to use the created custom issue types in your project without the help of the jira admin how you will do it i will tell you in the next video thanks for watching thank you